Uh, Mayor Bonnie Crombie is obviously very, very popular in the city of Mississauga, as we all know. And some political watchers believe that she is potentially the Ford government's biggest threat so far. I think that uh, we need some uh, new blood in the province, and I think she's the one to do the job. Bonnie Crombie is well known and well liked here in Mississauga, winning a third term as mayor back in October with the vast majority of support. Political expert Meyer Simiatiki is with the Toronto Metropolitan University and says many Liberals are viewing Crombie as a potential party savior. I think uh, uh, the Ontario Liberals are in pretty desperate need of revival, and I think they see. Uh, uh, Bonnie Crombie as the potential leader who could who could take them there. And I would imagine that she is the candidate that uh, Premier Ford would least like to encounter on the next uh, provincial campaign trail. All of this comes just days after Crombie won her longtime battle with the province to make Mississauga a standalone city. Some political experts thought that victory would have kept her in municipal politics, but former New Democrat MP Peggy Nash says Crombie clearly has her sights set on Queen's Park. I mean, is she being viewed as, as a front runner, no matter who throws their hat in the ring? Yes, certainly. Uh, Bonnie Crombie is very popular in Mississauga. She's a well-known name as a former MP and uh, with no disrespect to any other current or future candidates, I think she would be seen as a front runner. And uh, I mean, in their wildest dreams, I, I think they're hoping to do what Justin Trudeau did in 2015 and lead them from the wilderness to power. But this will be an uphill battle for the Ontario Liberals. Over two elections, they have failed to clinch enough seats to regain official party status. Um, I think there's, there's no shortcut, but there is likely a lot of hope that um, if Bonnie Crombie does become the leader, that uh, she will rebuild the party and help them on the road back to, to a better future. Ash is also calling this a very exciting time for women so in politics. Uh, Marit Stiles as leader of the NDP is the second place party and I think she's bringing an exciting new presence to provincial politics. If Bonnie Crombie is successful, that would make for a very interesting provincial election. Now, a lot has to happen between now and then. Candidates have until early September to join the leadership race. A decision will then be made in December. And, of course, the next election is still almost three years away.